Hello, I'm Jamie Thomas, and we're here at the 20 Years of Zero Photo and Art Show. We have a hundred of my favorite, uh, most, some of the most iconic boards of all time, and I'm going to talk about a few of them that are reissued uh, in the current season. So this is the original Smith Grind board. It was released in 2000. Um, this is the first edition. We wanted to reissue it, but I wanted to do something special, so I reached out to Lance Mountain, and um, Lance Mountain redrew the Smith Grind graphic and then uh, made me into a skeleton. That's like the style of artwork that he does. So we're super hyped on Lance Mountain to do an original piece of artwork um, of the Smith Grind board, which is probably my most iconic graphic of all time. This is John Alley's first board. Um, it's called Evil Dead. This was like really kind of his most memorable graphic, and it was his first graphic. John rides for Slave Skateboards now. I reached out to him and talked about doing a reissue for our 20 year. He was super hyped on it, so this is the board he chose. And um, anyway, so it's, it's awesome. This is uh, Screaming for Vengeance. Um, I think it's called Vengeance in the catalog. Um, this board was around, released around 2001. I always loved this graphic. And um, I found this one in a warehouse and it had been beat up for like, I don't know, moved around a bunch and the graphic had all fallen off. And I was super hyped on just the way it looked, so I hung this board up, but this was one of the, one, one of the boards that I wanted to reissue, so it's in the current line. This was Eric's first board and he was always really hyped on it because one of his good friends did the graphic and it was really meaningful to him. So when I reached out to Eric to do a reissue board, this was the board he chose and we are hyped on it, so we did it. This is the original board, but um, the reissue is exactly as this board was. We tried to like make them as close as possible to the originals. This is the Vine board. The Vine board's from 99. It was seen being skated a lot in Misled Youth, so it became like one of the more identifiable boards. Just because the graphic was so bright and vivid, you could always see it in all the photos, so you could recognize it. So when I asked the team what board they wanted to reissue, they all chose this board. We had to take a photo of this board and then re recreate the artwork from this board. This is the original, um, but the board is pretty much spot on to exactly the way this one was made. The bold graphic was the second board that Zero ever made, and the black colorway was the original colorway. In 1999, we, re we, issued, we issued one run of the boards with the graphic backwards. And I have a 5.0 footage in Misled Youth where I hold up my finger one more, and it was on this board. So that board was only out for a really small period of time. And some of the like true Zero Skate nerds always talked about that board graphic. So this one's the regular one, but the one in the catalog that you see, that's the, re the reverted board or inverse board where it spells zero backwards. Anyway, that was the, that's the reason why we reissued that board. The American Zero board was the first board we ever made. And when we first made it, I had the idea of trying to do a full top graphic. And at this time, a full top graphic in skateboarding hadn't been done because you had to make the screen print upside down in order to be able to print on the top. So no one wanted to deal with that, but luckily that when I wanted to make this board, they made it. And I wanted the board to be like it was see-through. So we made the top graphic you know, inverted, so the A starts here and it goes backwards. So it looks like the board would be see-through. That was my original thought. I'm not sure how cool that was, but we remade the American Zero reissues exactly as they were made in 1996. So this was our first board, and that's why we reissued exactly as it was. All right, thanks for listening to the story behind some of the boards. Thanks for uh, visiting the 20 year show. Hopefully you see this online if you're not able to be here. And um, I don't know, thanks for repping our stuff and I appreciate it. Take care, peace.